Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I thought I would do a laser print with you all. So I've got this one here and it's just a copy, well it's a photograph and then a print of a card that I made recently and it's one where there's actually a jelly uh, print on there and just a bit of collage and things. So it was a card but I've manipulated it to make it very contrasty. I've deleted some parts of the image and just tidied it up a bit so that I can try and print it out as a laser print so I have done the odd laser print before and it's been quite a hit and miss technique for me so normally when I do photo transfers I actually do get a reasonable amount of, um, of results, good results from it Oh, I've put too much ink on there, <laughs> too much paint I should say, straight off, so I'll need to correct that. But yeah, I usually get quite good results, and I use thin layers, Vogue magazine, and so far, so good most of the time. So, with laser prints, however, it's been very, very hit and miss, so let's see if I can get one working with you all watching. And I've, oops, I've got a little bit of water on the back of this, so I'll have to be careful not to tear the paper. So I'm just rubbing that in, and to be honest, the paint might be a little bit too thick, but we shall see. I don't normally put black paint on the gel um, plate for doing image transfers. I usually use like a dark blue or a dark purple. But anyway, let's see if we get anything transferring over. So, yeah, we do have an image. It's quite splotchy. So there's some little gaps in there. I have heard that if you put your print through twice in the laser printer, that the image comes out a bit sharper, a bit stronger. So there'd be more black on there. And I might try that, actually. But I'm going to let that dry a few minutes and while that's drying I'm just going to print another print and put it through twice just in case that might work better. Having said that I have done laser prints where it's worked first time, it's been absolutely fine so I'm still trying to figure out what's so different about those prints, um, whether it's me, the pressure I put, the amount of paint. And there's just so many variables, but um, yeah, I'm just going to get my other print ready in case this is a disaster. All right, well, we'll see if this one is going to work before I try it. Whoops, the others. A bit too much paint came out there. Or maybe not. So the paint only takes a few minutes to dry, so you have to... Work fairly quickly when you're removing it from the gel plate. Fingers crossed this works and it's worth pulling. But I do have those other prints on standby. Well, fingers crossed that they work. This doesn't. So, yeah, I've got my image, but it's quite patchy, so there's it's quite got quite a granular kind of look, so I want something that's a bit bit more solid, if you know what I mean, so I'm gonna get the other print, so I've got my double print, which just means I've printed it once, and I've put the paper back inside the printer tray and printed it again on the same image, so there is a slight kind of blur to it. it's very subtle and it just means that there's more toner on the paper so I'm hoping that it will pull more of the black off and um, we'll see anyway so I'll just roll on another thin layer hopefully it's thin enough it looks a little thick actually so I'm going to have to roll it off
Okay, let's see. Fingers crossed. Hopefully I've lined up okay. I'll just press it firmly. And it's great when this works, but I must say with the laser print, it's it's been quite a different experience from using the magazines, which have been pretty successful for me but ah right okay so we're getting a darker print now which is way better yeah I'm happy with that I could have probably rubbed it a bit harder over here and on the body a bit more but I've got the face so as long as I manage to pull up all of the black when I do the print I think it should look okay so I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes. It's a thin layer of acrylic, so it doesn't take long, but it's just worth giving it a couple of minutes so that the second contrasting layer of paint doesn't get mixed in with the black and ruin the image. So I've got some iridescent green blue, and I think that might be a nice, nice um, contrast to the black. And I've also got a little bit of this pale colour. It's beige and I spilt a bit so I might as well use it. So I'm just going to move around. Okay. Let's roll that out. I don't normally put paint on the plate that way. It's just... Um, I'd spilt some. I actually just wanted the blue, really, but it'll be all right. Okay, so that's a nice thin layer, and I'll just get my paper. I've got two there. Okay, so just rub the back. And hopefully it will pull off that black layer of paint that makes our image. But yeah, I thought it was a good tip. I can't remember where I saw it. I think it was a comment on one of the jelly printing groups that somebody said that they ran their prints through the printer twice just to add a bit more toner. And darken it up a bit. I have had dark prints, so I must say, even without doing that, so I don't know why it's not consistent. So, yeah, I can see it's picking it all up, and yeah, it's pulled that off. That's really lovely. So, that is my um, card that I've now transferred onto a jelly print. Very happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the process and if you've got access to a laser printer you know you might want to do a print of a family photo or something like that and give it a go thanks for watching bye